Hey everyone, Luke here with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Knee to Know Show, I'm going to share with you a unique system of electrical stimulation that can be used as a good supplement for your recovery after knee replacement surgery. Before I jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you can catch all of our latest videos related to knee replacement surgery. So what I want to talk about today is a type of electrical stimulation offered by the company ACP um, and it has a very specific unit and setup that they have here and it's called PENS or P-E-N-S and what that stands for is Pattern Electrical Neuromuscular Stimulation and essentially what the main goal of this PENS electrical stimulation is is to encourage muscle re-education and improving your walking and your walking pattern and your walking frequency um, for us, particularly after knee replacement surgery. Um, there's a lot of good indications to use this. Um, again, muscle re-education. Also, if you have muscle spasms, if you have muscle weakness or atrophy, which is basically everyone after knee replacement surgery. If you have um, some range of motion. It can be really great for range of motion, especially with certain exercises like using the cycling machine, which we'll show you in the second half of this video. And good, just good for circulation um, throughout the legs as well. So the setup for this is basically there's this little handheld um, portable unit and it's attached to two different channels. So you're actually gonna have the electrical stimulation on both legs. So you're gonna have it on your right leg for your quadricep muscles, both proximally and distally, the pads, and then also on your left leg. And the reason for that is because you're gonna have those alternating contractions that are going to stimulate and encourage muscle re-education, again, for walking and movement and things like that. A um, Couple of things to keep in mind are there are some contraindications or reasons why you shouldn't use this type of electrical stimulation. Um, Main ones are if you have a pacemaker, a defibrillator, or any type of electrical implant. Um, there may be some other contraindications or precautions. So for that reason and some other, you know, just safety reasons, I definitely recommend doing this with um, the supervision and the setup and assistance of a physical therapist or any type of other healthcare professional who's been educated and instructed in how to use this correctly. Um, so I wouldn't do this by yourself. Definitely do this with your healthcare professional. Um, with that in mind, so again, what we're trying to do is stimulate through the electrical stimulation. We're trying to stimulate the nerves, which then are going to stimulate your muscles, these muscles of your quadriceps, to contract. And they're going to contract at a certain frequency. It's going to go left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg. And you can set the frequency on this machine to whatever your goals are. So ACP made a video and what they said for kind of slow walking, you want to set it at about a frequency of 42 revolutions per minute for what they consider about average speed or average frequency walking in steps. You want to set it about 60 revolutions per minute. And then for that fast walking or fast steps or more of a community ambulator, you want to set it at about 88 revolutions per minute. So that's just something to keep in mind as you set it up with your um, therapist. So once you have the pad set up, once you have the stimulation um, connected to the machine, then you can turn it on. Again, your therapist is going to help you get that all the different parameters set up appropriately. Um, but basically what's going to happen is once you turn it on and have the parameters set, you're going to start turning up the intensity on the two channels. And you're going to get to a point where you're going to feel that strong kind of muscle contraction on both legs. So you're going to feel right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg. As you go along, you're going to feel that alternating contraction. And so there's a couple different things you can do with this. So the easiest one without any machines or anything is just you can do some knee extensions up and down, left, right, left, right. And with all these exercises, you want to try to go with the frequency of the contractions, kind of push through that frequency. Once you get pretty good at that, you can do some just standing and do weight shift, left, right, left, right, left, right. 
And then of course, the main things is you can use this with the cycling. So you can use this with the OmniCycle system, um, another ACP piece of equipment. And I'll show you that coming up here in the second part of the video. And then of course, you can actually use this well up and walking. So using that frequency of the contractions of the electrical stimulation to encourage increased frequency and muscle re-education with your movements and with your walking. So let's go ahead, let's turn to the second part of this video where I'll show you exactly, you know, setting it up and using the PENS unit with the cycling um, OmniCycle system. All right, so real quick, I just wanna share with you using the PENS, the electrical stimulation with the OmniCycle or with the cycling as well. So again, same thing, you wanna get your pads set up so you have on both legs, for your quadricep muscles, so the distal and medial quadricep, as well as the proximal and lateral quadricep, and you want to do that on both sides. Once that's good to go, get it connected to the wires of the um, OmniStim unit. You can go ahead with the help of your therapist. You want to get set up with the appropriate frequency or the revolutions per minute that you want for your goal or target. Um, and that will tell you the frequency of the stimulation, left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg. Again, in the 40s, it's kind of a slow uh, movement, slow walking pattern. 60s is kind of medium or average. In the 80s to high 80s, uh, revolutions or steps per minute, that's more of a faster um, walking pattern. And that will carry over from the cycling to the walking or any standing or, or other ex um, exercises that you do with the Omni Stim system and the pens. So once you're set up, once you're plugged in, you have the right frequency that you want set on the system, then you can go ahead and turn up both channel A and channel B, the intensity, till you feel that muscle contraction, um, that muscle twitch. So again, we want it to be kind of strong, but still comfortable and tolerable. And once you've got um, have both channels turned up nice and high. You're going to feel that, you know, left side, right side, left side, right side. You're going to feel that revolutions, that alternating muscle twitch, muscle contraction. So once you're all set up there, you want to get yourself in position on the cycling, on the omnicycle. Of course, you want to be close enough so you have good posture as you're sitting. You want to get your legs strapped in as well. Um, and you want to do your best if you are turning on the actual systems. Um, both of them have timers on them, so you want to do your best to kind of hit them at the same time, just so um, for when it turns off, they kind of turn off very close to the same time for you. And so all you're going to do, you're going to continue to feel that stimulation through your legs, and you're going to push through those revolutions per minute, or that frequency of the stimulation. So just like you're walking, you're walking with the stem, left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg, same exact thing with the cycling. You're pushing through left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg, left, excuse me, right leg. And you're going to feel that stimulation and it's hopefully going to improve that cadence, improve the frequency of your revolutions. Your, um, again, and this will carry over to your steps per minute when you're up and standing and walking with the pens and stimulation as well. Some additional benefits, um, great for muscle endurance, muscle strength, great way for some early um, knee bending range of motion. So there's a lot of good benefits of using the pens secondarily to helping improve your walking speed and your walking pattern. So just wanted to provide that quick example for you. Again, once you stop, just make sure that both the cycling machine and the stim unit kind of turn off at the same time or you'll feel one going while the other one stops um, and that's it so i hope you found this video insightful and helpful please be sure to leave your questions or comments below i'd love to hear if you've used the pens either for knee replacement or something else and what you thought of it as always please be sure again to hit that subscribe button so you can catch all of our latest videos thank you for watching